श्री मोहम्मद नदीमुल हक थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर गिविंग मी द चांस टू स्पीक ऑन दिस फोर मिनट्स टाइम अलॉटेड थैंक यू फॉर लिमिटिंग थैंक यू फॉर लिमिटिंग मी ऑल्सो सर सर द वर्ड फेडरल is not mentioned in the constitution even once yet it is the spirit and soul of this country <laughs> remember that this is not the house of elders it is the council of states do not do anything that will hurt federalism do not do anything that will compromise the states do not assault federalism federalism is our nation's precious asset sir so depriving the state of funds is a threat to democracy let me give you an example of my state bengal laborers who worked under manrega from 2021 till now have not been paid their wages amounting close to 4000 crore rupees if we include the non wage component the amount goes up to 7000 crore rupees sir a uh, madam 11 lakhs 36000 beneficiaries have been denied the gramin awas yojana under different schemes the union government has blocked tens of thousands of crores to bengal this is not federal this is against the states 75 years ago dr b r ambedkar said and i quote the indian constitution is a federal constitution in as much as it is established what may be called a dual polity which will consist of the union at the center and the states at the periphery each endowed with sovereign powers to be exercised in the field assigned to them respectively by the constitution unquote remember that the double engine government that you propose is against the federalism that our founders envision for this country it is against the very spirit of india sir madam today in 2023 i quote arun dhuti rai and i quote it is no longer just the leaders that we must fear but a whole section of the population the banality of evil the normalization of evil is now manifest in our streets in our classrooms in very many public spaces the mainstream press the hundreds of 24 hours news channels have been harnessed to the cause of fascist majoritarianism india's constitution has been effectively set aside the penal code is being rewritten unquote madam in conclusion i must say that india's equilibrium depends on fair play do not penalize those states that have done better in successful implementation of schemes but oppose you politically political parties come and go prime ministers will come and go but india its parliament and its constitution will remain forever thank you very much